What's up everyone, welcome back. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the cost of living in Kenya. I did the cost of living in Tanzania, so if you haven't seen that video, be sure to go to the channel and check that out. But today I'm gonna to be doing the cost of living in Kenya and the out of travels coming up, so be sure to subscribe because I don't think you wanna miss. And I'm gonna be raw and honest with you just on the way I want it to be presented. Anyway, so without wasting out of time, without wasting out of time, let's get started on the cost of living in Kenya. Forget about all those websites that you see, but let's do this. How much does it cost to live in Kenya? Kenya is a very decent place to live. The thing about Kenya is that there's a large gap between the rich and poor which makes for a very unfair market since it's the rich that run the economy. The biggest expense you'll have in this country is rent which is pretty high taking into consideration your monthly salary. The rest of your expenses will depend on your lifestyle and what you want to spend. Bear in mind, in Kenya, that haggling and bargaining are a part of their culture and are common in open markets where produce or clothes are sold. Cost of Living Index 32.4 One of Kenya's many draw cards is its low cost of living. Mercer's Cost of Living Survey for 2023 ranked Nairobi 173rd out of 227 cities evaluated, making it more affordable than Maputo, Mozambique, 159th, and Hanoi, Vietnam, 156th. Nevertheless, new arrivals need to remember that amenities such as private health care, international schools, and comfortable homes can tremendously inflate the cost of living in Kenya. Expats will also find themselves having to account for additional living expenses they wouldn't incur back home, such as the cost of clean drinking water and a security guard or driver. Fortunately, many expats find that their employment contracts cover some of the heftiest expenses. For instance, the company may provide an allowance for accommodation, transport, and international school fees. Expats should try their best to negotiate these benefits into their expat packages where possible. Cost of accommodation in Kenya Accommodation will likely be the most significant expense for expats living in Kenya. Most expats opt to rent as they have a fixed-term contract and don't intend to settle in the country long-term. Rent in cities like Nairobi and Mombasa will be higher than in rural locations. Security is a key concern when choosing where to live, and this must be factored into the cost of accommodation. Most expats opt to live in a secure, gated community, which can cost as much as property in Europe. Note that rental costs in safe expat areas are much higher. Restaurants Restaurants, like most everything else, are pretty cheap in Kenya. For example, a meal in a good restaurant per person would cost less than $4.02. On the other hand, you can always eat street food and pay only a couple of dollars. In the end, everything really depends on you and how much you want to spend on food. Markets If you're in Kenya and get homesick about food, imported goods are sold in common supermarkets like Nakamat, Achumi etc., where you can find them and buy them at higher prices than domestic groceries. Malls can be quite expensive also, while shopping at local markets will save you a considerable amount of money. It often comes as a surprise to new arrivals in Kenya that the cost of food and essential housing products is relatively high. This is because many of these goods are imported and highly taxed. There are several supermarket chains where shoppers can buy anything from dairy products to mattresses, furniture, alcohol and electronics. Many imported food products such as cheeses, jams, chocolates, oils and pasta can also be found. Buying local produce is the best way to save money on groceries in Kenya. Because of the country's favorable climate, expats will find that fruit and vegetables sold at local markets are always good quality and are far cheaper than in a supermarket. Transportation Transportation is reasonably cheap. It isn't a bargain, but it's mostly reliable, though it probably isn't as organized as you'd want it to be. You can catch a bus anytime, and taxis are even cheap. A one-way ticket to wherever you want to go is less than a dollar while a monthly ticket is around $32. Although public transport in Kenya is incredibly cheap, many expats don't use it as it's usually uncomfortable and inefficient. 
When it comes to getting around Kenya, most expats will hire or buy a car and find a local driver. That said, buying a car can be expensive. A four-wheel drive is also the best option for those wanting to travel domestically in Kenya, but it will be pricier than a regular vehicle. Utilities, monthly. Monthly utilities are also relatively cheap. For an apartment that is a bit larger, at about 85 square meters, all the basic utilities including water, gas, cooling, electricity, and garbage services will cost you around $27. The good thing is that the bill doesn't double during winter, because you won't ever need any heating. Sports and Leisure However cheap everything else in Kenya is, practicing sports definitely isn't among those cheap things. Being a member of a gym or a fitness club in Kenya will cost you more than being one in any of the less popular countries in Europe or America, prepare to spill out $42. Cinema tickets cost $6.43 each. Clothing and Shoes Now, shopping might be something more affordable, if you're thinking about going to a mall in Kenya and shopping till you drop off, it might be a good idea, because the clothing there is very cheap. A pair of quality jeans will cost less than $15, while good sneakers from brands like Nike will cost you only about $36 or less. Rent Per Month Rent is, according to some, very expensive, though compared to the rest of the world, it would be considered pretty low. However, for the residents of Kenya, paying rent is a difficult job, given the fact that their salaries are also pretty low. An apartment in the center of any of the main cities will cost you around $250. Cost of Living Averages Table for Kenya Asterisk Note, all prices are indicated in USD. Average Restaurant Prices Meal, inexpensive restaurant. $4.02. Domestic beer, 0.5 liter. $2.01. Water, 0.33 liter. 42 cents. Average market prices. Milk, 1 liter. 81 cents. Loaf bread, 500 g. 48 cents. Eggs, 12. $1.39. Average transport prices. One-way ticket. 80 cents. Monthly pass. $32.14. Gasoline. $1.17. Average utilities prices. Basic, water, electricity, garbage, heating, cooling, $26.12. One minute, of prepaid mobile tariff local. Three cents. Internet, unlimited data, cable, slash ADSL. $43.76. Average leisure prices. Fitness club, monthly fee, for one adult. $41.27. Tennis court rent, one hour. $14.03. cents. Cinema, one seat, international release. $6.43. Average clothing prices. One pair of jeans, Levis, 501 or comparable. $14.04. One summer dress in a chain store, Zara, etc. $21.62. One pair of Adidas walking shoes, mid-range. $35.68. Average rent prices Apartment, one bedroom, in city center $248.63 Apartment, one bedroom, outside of center $137.67 Apartment, three bedrooms, in city center $647.56 How does the average person spend their money in Kenya? Food is definitely the biggest expense for anyone living in Kenya, which makes sense, you have to eat if you want to survive on a day-to-day -day basis. The next on the list of expenses is the rent, which may not be high per se, but is definitely very high compared to the people's incomes. Restaurants and transportation have almost the same percentage on the expense pie chart, and they are followed by sports, which, in Kenya, is extremely expensive.
Clothing and utilities are the cheapest and the lowest expense for an average resident of Kenya. Average costs breakdown. Restaurants 14.8%. Markets 36.3%. Transportation 14.4%. Utilities, monthly, 4.4%. Sports and leisure, 9.6%. Clothing and shoes, 2.1%. Rent per month 18.5%. Kenya, average salary, minimum wage and mortgages. Low incomes are the main reason why high rents are such a huge problem. If an average person receives an average salary of about $400, they can barely afford to rent a normal-sized apartment in a city center. The minimum wage in Kenya is also pretty low, just a bit above $140. This is barely enough to make ends meet even while living in pretty bad conditions. If you want to spend a month in Kenya, $500 would suffice and $700 would be plenty enough if you really want to splurge. Average salary $396.99 Minimum wage $141.70 Mortgage interest rate 12.52% Kenya Safety Overview Safety Index 45, Asterisk Overall Risk, High Asterisk Transport and Taxis Risk, High Asterisk Pickpockets Risk, Medium Asterisk Natural Disasters Risk, Medium Asterisk Mugging Risk, High Asterisk Terrorism Risk, Medium Asterisk Scams Risk, Low Asterisk Women Travelers Risk, Medium Cost of Living by City in Kenya City Cost of Living Index Nairobi 41.76 Thank you so much. Hope you guys have found this video very useful. And if you ever if you ever have a question about traveling to East Africa or even outside of East Africa in Asia, some of the countries that I have actually visited, be sure to leave me a question or um just contact me on Instagram. I was left my link there on the description. So until then. Bye-bye. Hope you find this useful. See you next time.